Hello, hello, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Stars with Stasi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is your weekly reading for May 5th through May 11th, or whenever you come across this message, it's meant for you. I've already shuffled your cards, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this week's theme. Now, the major lunar event, or astrological event happening this week is the new moon in Taurus that's taking place on the 7th of May at 11.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so be sure to adjust for your location. Now, this is happening in your sixth house. Sixth house. Say that quick, Sagittarius. Woo! That's happening in your sixth house of home and health and work. <clears throat> All right, so your theme this week is number 61, Whale Song, Resonating, right? So this is a good time to start a new health routine or something that's going to um, be good for you physically, right? Even mentally as well. And I'm, I actually just had this image of being near water. So that's come up for you a few times um, actually in the last several months, Sagittarius. So be sure to um, get some rest and sit near a body of water for some reason that needs that's seems to be very important for you guys. <clears throat> Then I've got number 46, Root Girl, The Disowned Self. So this basically means um, healing different parts of yourself, releasing guilt, releasing shame, and just accepting, you know, that all of us, right, come with the good, bad, and the indifferent within us. So, you know, it's difficult when you see yourself after a period of self-reflection, and that's also what I'm feeling, that you guys have been inward, and maybe over the last year or so really – sifting things out for yourself, right? Parsing out what's going to work, what doesn't. And many of you have, um, I'm picking up, have done a career shift or a shift with um, just how you bring in your resources. And so this is a good time to um, to set plans for investments. Um, this is a good time to make any large purchases if that's something you're looking to do as well because it's Taurus season. And this new moon's going to have you re-examining um, your belief systems as well. You also have number 22, Fool's Embrace, Transmuting Pain. So this is an energy, like I said, of healing from the past. <clears throat> so we're going to do nine cards and I'm going to clarify those cards. But Sagittarius, the, the picture that I'm getting in my mind is that, you know, in the in the recent past, you've done a lot of changing. And it's not just like your everyday changing. I feel that, you know, you might have um, done some major shifts in how you want to live your life, right? And I, I'm sensing like some of you changed your course of study or got very serious about making a hobby or a side project your main source of income. So let's see what Spirit has to say for Sagittarius, please. Give me the highest and best for Sagittarius. I've got the Knight of Swords, so knights are in pursuit, and this is in the pursuit of truth, in the pursuit of um, information, so we'll see what comes of that. And I've got the Eight of Pentacles, so you're really putting your mind to something, focusing on how to make something happen, um, or it could be that you're in the pursuit of truth, and so you're really doing the work to get it. So we're going to see what that is for you. Six of Cups. So earlier when I was saying about healing something from your past and setting, you know, <clears throat> how should I put it? Being in balance with all parts of you. This card comes through, which can signify two things, things coming full circle. And this could also signify a lover from the past or someone um, that you had a soul connection with from the past coming back around. So we'll see how that goes for you, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Because potentially, you know, I just got the strangest uh, message. So take this because it must be for somebody out there. And I feel like this might have come up for you mm, maybe a couple months ago. But some of you are studying your ancestry, right, or doing some type of – because that's what I'm, I'm watching in my mind. I'm seeing somebody do their family tree. So some of you may be investigating your past. Um, maybe you were – like I'm picking up that somebody might have been adopted, take that how it resonates and that you're looking for your um your biologicals yeah <laughs> biologicals your biological parents <clears throat> all 
I've got the King of Wands. Let's see here. The Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So with the King of Wands, King of Wands, very visionary, right? And this could be you. This is a fire sign. Someone who's taking control of their future, their finances, and going after what they want, right? And I feel that's what's going on, Sagittarius. You've done a lot of changing. And now I feel like you're in the pursuit of more. You're in the pursuit of happiness. You are in the pursuit of truth, right? What's your truth? That's even, because look, <clears throat> here I've got, all these cards stick here. I've got number 61 resonating, right? Whale song. And this is all about your soul tribe, your vibe, your purpose. What are you meant to do? And that's, I feel like what you've been looking for, what you've been investigating, like how, what's my life purpose? That's, that's what I'm feeling for Sagittarius. Like, what am I meant to do? What's the meaning of life? Why am I here? So it sounds like you guys might be going through the dark night, of the soul. We've got 10 of pentacles. So this is wish fulfillment. This is when things come all the way together. This is home life, your fulfillment, longevity, and also your financial stability. You've got a lot of pentacles here coming through eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, six of pentacles, equal give and take. And this comes in after the six of cups. So I feel like you're really looking for balance and stability in your life page of pentacles, right? And this is like the desire to learn and do something now from a more grounded and stable approach. So because you had the page of swords and now you've got the page of pentacles, I feel like you're enlivened, like you're really putting your mind to something and you're doing the work to get there. Hmm. Okay. And I've got seven of swords. So being strategic. So <clears throat> The seven of swords can be looked at as lying, cheating, stealing, somebody working against you, but this is your reading, right? And the way I see it is this is you being smart. This is you out, outsmarting the competition, getting what it is that you want because you've crafted a way to do it. And sometimes that's what has to happen, right? There are so many energies that can come into your, um, into your world that don't match up with what you're trying to accomplish, that it's really important to be discerning about, um, who you allow into your life and also to do your research, right? <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> And, and outsmart the competition. That's how it comes through. And I feel that you'll be very successful at that as well. I feel like some of you are looking to turn your hobby into, um, into a source of income, like go into the creator world. So I'm thinking, and I'm telling this to everyone, everyone, I'm saying this is the time to do that and to move forward. So take that how it resonates. If it's not for you, just leave it for someone else. All right, so I've got the Hermit card and the Chariot card coming through. <clears throat> and so the Hermit card is clarifying the Knight of Swords. So like I said, the Knight is in pursuit of the truth. Hermit card is Virgo energy and going inward and taking time of seclusion almost. So that's that's the energy I've been picking up, that you've been alone for some time trying to redirect your life and your path. And I'm feeling like things are starting to come together this week, honestly, new moon, new you, right? And with this chariot card and the eight of pentacles, um, chariot is something happening very quickly. And it's also can be, um, a card of victory and also a card of divine intervention is how I see it because this is, you know, I mean, to be honest, that's how it's coming through for you. So I don't know, Sagittarius, you're gonna have to comment below. Like, or if you're, if some of you are being called to a spiritual path, one moment. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. So again, this might not be for everyone, but there are a handful of you are not more. It's actually, it's more than that. It's like a good 50% of you that are being called to do something more spiritual. And you're looking on how to monetize that or, or at least have enough income to sustain you doing what you want and what you need. And so that eight of pentacles is like you trying to figure out how to, how to create a life that's balanced between your finances and your, your dreams and your visions. But I feel like you're going to have the support to, to do both, right? I feel like you're going to be able to monetize on whatever it is that you truly enjoy doing. 
And, and I'm, I'm serious. It doesn't matter how old you are. Honestly, I, fig- I feel like everyone has a platform to just start creating and pave a path where you don't find one. Okay, so much came out. Hold on. So I've got the star card. Oh, that's good. And I'll tell you why. Hold on. And I've got the Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, Judgment, Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, and Five of Cups. So that's exactly how many cards I needed at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands. So I'm just going to interpret this real part really quickly because Spirit's saying, you know, this is the advice that gets you to be able to put down your Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands being the burdens, the heaviness, the 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 programming, right? That we work so desperately to release once we realize we are in it. So what do I mean by that? So many of our belief systems are structured in some programming we received from when we were younger, from, you know, uh, media, school, right? Even our parents who had hopefully the best intentions for us, right? So, There is an energy here of being able to release all of that heaviness by following this. So let's see where we're heading. So the star card with the six of cups. I feel like when the star card shows up and we also have the six of cups. So this could also be in addition to someone from your past, this could be things coming full circle. So star card, Aquarius energy, main character energy being inspiration for others. Remember the star is the brightest. No, I was going to say the sun is the brightest star in the sky. So let me start over. But that image is what came to my mind. So I guess my point is that the stars themselves shine very, very brightly. And you can get a lot of inspiration by seeing the stars in the sky. And so I feel like spirit saying it's your time to live your life how you want and you will inspire others. People, you know, people from your past look up to you. They look at you with like, wow, how is Sagittarius managing to live this life, um, you know, of of following their passions? Because I feel like it's what you're doing and that's what you've been doing. Like you've been pursuing your passions for some time now. And I feel like that's giving other people hope to do the same thing. So I feel like keep going on whatever path you're on. And you might even find that if this is someone from your past, that someone from your past reaches out to you to, um, and to let you know that they feel inspired by your, your progression. So the night, the King of Wands with the 10 of Cups leading to happiness. So the pursuing your vision, right? Because that's what this is with the King of Wands. King of Wands is very much a strong leader and able to manifest their visions, able to make what they want happen because they want it so badly. And I feel that that stability, that home life, that love that you've wanted is something that you start to really put into place for yourself this week. I feel like plans start to go into motion. Um, Let me look at this. Yeah, I mean, Sagittarius, I really see you taking some bold steps, honestly, because here I've got the nine of pentacles with the ace of wands. And so the ace of wands is all about pursuit of passion, not pursuit, but this is like passion and adventure. This might even be a new sexual adventure. So you might be having um, something new come your way, or you might be going on a, like a romantic situation with somebody if you're already involved. But with this nine of pentacles, this is, um, a, like a financial freedom and stability for yourself. And I feel like you are spending more time doing what you like, spending more time creating experiences for yourself. And that's the other thing, like you are create, like I said, you're creating a path where one isn't, you're creating it. And I feel like you're also focused on your mental health quite a bit this week. That's the other thing. I see people like taking some downtime, meditating, whatever that looks like for you. Um, Because in the beginning, I said about sitting near water. And so you might even want to take a weekend at the beach, something like that, right? But there's something here about you taking some time for yourself for rest and reprieve, rebuilding, recharging, because you're going to commit to something here this week. I feel like you're going to make a big decision. 
because I've got the six of pentacles with the judgment card and the judgment card. If you see these people are, um, you know, they're being called to their purpose and they're committing all the way to the goal. That's what they're doing. And, you know, the six of pentacles here is about equal give and take someone meeting where you are, um, being charitable or someone, or you being the, uh, beneficiary of someone's charity. So I would say this for you looks like somebody collaborating with you to help make a vision come, you know, into form. Like if you are someone who makes music, for example, right, you might find someone reaching out to you and says, hey, let's collaborate and make something together. Um, so there's that. But whatever it is, like you're stepping into your calling, you're stepping into adventure as well. So I feel like you're taking a huge leap of faith. And I think this is going to work out well for you. It's going to give you a more balanced life. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you might be feeling stuck in your relationships um, because you've had some other heavy decisions to make about your future and what that might mean for your family life. But I think that things are coming together really well because the next set of cards I have is the Page of Pentacles and the Fool card. So pages, again, do things with a more grounded and stable approach. And, and that's how it's coming through. You've done a lot of changing. You've taken a lot of faith, you know, um, leaps of faith. You've done pivoting and you have found yourself. And I feel like this week things are starting to come together for you on how to best make these things happen for yourself. And so I feel like with that person reaching out or you reaching out to someone to work together, that's going to go well. Seven of swords with the five of cups. Yeah, I feel like this is a lot of healing from the past stuff because like that transmuting pain, right? I think that because you've had a significant past that has shaped how you see business, how you see money, then this is true for all of us, right? We've all had a significant past that puts us in a position to see the world through a certain lens. The lens that you have has given you the skill of being... I don't want to say manipulative because that comes across as so negative, but more skillful and um, I don't know, you know, strategic. Like I said before, that's what it is. You know, the the path that you have created, or the, the your past has created you to have this lens of being strategic to get what it is that you want to get to your goals. And I feel like, you know, <clears throat> that's actually working to your benefit and you again just following your own unique path and doing what it is that you're meant to do committing to your vision is going to inspire other people regardless so i feel sagittarius things are working in your favor this is an energy of like releasing some hurts that you know and and stepping into a new phase of yourself this new moon in taurus is going to be very beneficial for your material possessions um and like i said if you're looking to book travel, if you're looking to do something of a luxury item or even splurge on yourself, this is a great time to do it. And, you know, you will reap the benefits of it. Um, and so let's look at your shadow work this week, Sagittarius. I've got number 19, Parasite. So this card always warns towards harboring, um, emotions, right? And we talked about that during your readings, things from your past come up this week. And this is a great time to purge because this is, um, going to prepare you to have new mental health habits. For example, like you're going to be more aware of the record that plays in your mind rent free. And in order to be a powerful manifester, you have to quiet the chatter. You have to turn off that background noise of what have, should have, could have, and you have to be clear with your intentions and desires. What does Sagittarius want? How is Sagittarius going to get there and commit to it? And even if you're not sure what the end goal looks like and each step of the way, you know that you are in the pursuit of more for yourself. And so every day make an intentional step to move forward towards your greatness towards your happiness because anything less than that becomes a parasite of doubt a parasite of fear a parasite of being self-conscious and feeling that's less than and the only person playing that record and the only person that can hear it is you 
because you are a powerful tool. You are the only tool of your creation. So I want you to just sit with that energy and think about what it is that you tell yourself daily and how you can change the channel to make it something more beneficial for you, right? What can you say to yourself daily that is helpful? You know, why am I so rich? Why am I so healthy? Why am I so loved? Because people usually say manifest with I am statements. However, if you don't believe it, your mind, your body isn't going to buy what you're selling. So if you start asking yourself, posing it as a question, why am I so wealthy? Why am I so at ease? Why does my body function each day? Your brain goes, hmm, why is that true? And starts problem solving. And then next thing you know, the background record, the background, the background record becomes very different. Man, the current record is skipping. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius, this reads, forgive yourself, literally. It was like the first card and the last card, transmuting pain. So forgive yourself, release your past. Don't become a hostage to the past by berating yourself for your choices. Make amends, forgive your own shortcomings and keep moving towards a beautiful future. Just keep going one foot in front of the other, no matter what right? And even if the worst case scenario happens and you fall flat on your face, nobody stays down, right? It doesn't, that's not the way the world works. You will get back up and you will rise again even stronger. And so when you see the beauty in it, it doesn't make it as scary and it doesn't make it as awful that you didn't succeed every time you tried something, right? You have to learn to crawl before you can walk, before you can run. So forgive yourself for anything that you feel you could have done better and release it. Just know that better comes when you are at ease and you're ready to commit to a life of, you know, experience versus victories or losses. So I hope that helps Sagittarius. Thank you so much for spending your afternoon here with me. Remember that was a general reading. If you're looking for a more personal experience, head over to my website at starswithstasi.com. You can also follow me on all major platforms platforms. And if you're looking to support my channel, feel free to become a member. And I do a little bit extra for them. Um, we definitely have a much uh, different type of environment when we do our live streams. And it's a more, you know, I don't know, more a little intimate thing. And I also do, um, we're doing book clubs and all of the things. So it's still under construction, but I would love to see you there. And we are all stars from the sky with feet on the ground. So we're doing the best we can with the information we have. So be kind to yourselves and each other. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and show some love. Drop the comments below because I do respond to each and every one of them. And I love to hear from you guys. And until next time, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. Have a great week ahead, Sagittarius, and shine brightly.